Okay, hello again. So this section is a presumption from our first, first training. So kindly close your videos. Okay. So we were doing a presentation on the signal processes for our cameras. So we mentioned before that we have a DSP and ASP. So the, the processor that a camera have are, are specified. So like an image signal processor will uh, focus more on image signal processing. So an example for image signal processor are uh, NVIDIA and AMD. So that's why you'd find more image signal processors on, uh, on gaming devices. A digital signal uh, processor, the function will do a uh, control of the lens, uh, image digital signal processing, Dig uh, process the image dig digital signal, sorry, uh, do an allograting. So for allograting uh, perform uh, functions, this applies to AI cameras, so such. So example for this digital signal processor are heat silicon umbrella. So the silicon maybe you can find in uh, phones like Samsung, etc. So they have, we have covered the working principle of a camera. We're going to do camera performance. So for those of us, uh, for those of us who have lost track or, so we are doing here, we, are, we have done the sensors. Now we are going to do performance, camera performance. So the camera performance will be from, uh, we're going to cover, so we need So the camera performance, will cover from uh, this section, this, from the here, yeah. So it will it will deal with the, the functionalities that you as a installer or a system, system developer will work on or interact with one-on-one. -on -one. I have a question on the chat. No audio on my end. Uh, can check if you have a problem with audio, maybe you can check your band and raise your so you can raise the 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 the, the volume of your device. Proceed. So just to mention that the, the, the training is recorded, it will be available. Someone replied to you. So you can, uh, the, the recording will be available. Will be available on YouTube. So the first part, last week's training will be available. So tomorrow we're going also to do training on the same. So tomorrow's will be practical 
and a bit more coverage than than today's training. So for tomorrow's training, you can uh, you can join us at Mitsumi Business Park at Westlands. The training will begin at 11 a.m. sharp, then up to up to 12. Okay, so so. So you're going to do a camera performance. So um, so I, I would suggest you to to pay attention or uh, put into consideration about this part we're going to cover because most of the issues that you're going to face in a site well installation errors you would realize you can can be most of them can be fixed with uh, the configuration that you're going to talk about in this part here. So for the case of uh, performance, you're going to cover uh, information like uh, resolution for cameras, what this uh, HLC, BLC, WDR is, ICR. Then as we move on, we continue. So basically the resolution for a camera is the number of pixels that a camera can output. So the higher the resolution, the better the performance of the camera. So the lowest resolution that we have from our cameras are uh, indicated below, CIF. So the CIF resolution is 312 by 288. And then there is the D1. So most of you will realize that this resolution D1 is the one that uh, if you have maybe experience with CCTV systems, we'd find that this D1 resolution is the one that usually is configured for recording purposes. So, So we also have resolutions of uh, 1 MP, um, 2 MP, 4 MP, and 4K, 4K resolution. So we have HDCVI cameras, analog cameras supporting up to 4K transmission over coaxial cable. Uh, resolution comparison. So you can see a difference between a 4K camera and a 1080p. This one is a 2 MP camera. 2MP or 1MP, 2MP, yeah. So at an 80 p camera, you can see. So 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 the reason why you can, uh, the image here is a bit blurred compared to the image uh, before is because the higher the number of pixels, the clearer the image. So so what 1080 for this case tries to do is spreading those little, little pixels in a wide area, thus giving this small, this blood appearance. Yeah. So you define well, when installing cameras or uh, having view on them on the window, you can have clients or uh, some people complaining that uh, the image is a poor quality or so and so it's because of resolution from the camera and configuration from uh, the NVR or the DVR, the recorders. Horizontal resolution. So this is just an as another aspect for resolution. Uh, for camera performance, you're going to do, we're going to check about HLC, BLC, and WDR. So BLC in full means backlight compensation. HLC means highlight compensation. WDR means wide dynamic range. So WDR employs BLC and HLC to give an optimum result from the view of the image. So for this case, you can see this image here on the left, the image here on the left has has a quite quite a lot of light from the background and less light in the foreground. So find you you realize that you don't have the image in the foreground is not clear. So the image on uh, on the right here has more light in the foreground and less light in the background. So here this is the foreground here. The background is maybe somewhere behind Kojumoku. So we'll see how HLC and BLC do to, to make image better. So for BLC, backlight compensation, for the BLC, when the BLC is off, the camera will, will be at this state. If it's on, 
So what you see is that uh, BLC will try to enhance the brightness at the at the foreground. So while doing so, the background will be tampered with. So you realize here, there's more light at the background and less light at the foreground because the BLC is on. HLC, on the other hand, will try to reduce the background uh, brightness. This can be done by the iris. You remember we talk about the iris. So less light is taken into the lens of the camera, thus bringing this image. But you realize the image for BLC and HLC are not that good. So this is where WDR comes in. So what WDR will do will employ HLC and BLC to give you this final result image where the foreground is optimal and the background still can be still be viewed. So I hope that is clear. So if you have any question or if something is not clear, you can you can engage in the, in the chat section. So that's the summary for HLC and BLC. So if you want to 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 get uh, the detailed information, you can just uh, rewind the video while play it. So we move. Another performance feature for cameras from Dahua is uh, white balance. So a white balance will automatically balance the image temperature to make to make the image uh, look white on the screen. So normal image, warm light exposure. Yes, this is this basically filters that usually do that can be found on mobile phones. So, but you know, you know what about balance basically is more sort of. So for cameras also we have uh, for camera performance, another a key area is the color, black and white. So uh, most of the cameras at the day will do color. At the night, they'll do black and white. So from this image here, you can see this one is a daytime at night time. So how is this that we'll get to know? So um, how will the camera detect that uh, it's night, then uh, create an image for the night side? It's, uh, you see this point here, most of the cameras have, it's a, it's a resistor to do a sensing on the environment, light changing, so that the camera can switch effectively to create an image for the night side. So for this case, if it's at night, this sensor will detect it. Then the IR here sends uh, lenses will now do image optimization at night to create the image that you get to view, which you cannot view using normal eyes. So the camera, the digital signal processor, so where I, this is the DSP is the core, core, core processor for the camera. We'll now do the processing and everything to now do night switching. So something that's not mentioned here, we have full color cameras. So they, those are cameras that uh, will uh, will get to 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 do, to create a color image both at daytime and at night. So the full color cameras are located. You can find them locally from uh, any of our distributors or sellers. So performance, we have done uh, color black and white. Another performance feature for camera is the ICR. So you, you need to know what ICR is. ICR is infrared cut, infrared cut off removal filter. So, so the infrared uh, is uh, from the light spectrum, from the signal spectrum, where we have the various, uh, various, various signals, including wavelength, so and so. So that's uh, deep into about electricals. So the IR infrared is the is the signal range that our normal eyes cannot see. So the camera, however, can see the infrared. So what the ICR does is, uh, as a result from uh, from trying to opt, uh, to create an optimal image at night, 
you would have uh, the infrared with uh, an output a red or a purple. Uh, this color is pink, I think. Yeah, a red or a pink, pink image. So what the ICR does is is uh, filter out that so that you can have a black and white image instead of this this pink color here. So I think that's clear. Okay, maybe you can search more. You can get to know. So that's the function of ICR. So it will it will uh, remove those pink as a result from trying to to get to know the image from the IR sensors or the IR light. Now, from another performance feature we're going to talk about is the low light performance. So 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 for for this case you can see this uh, scenario where a camera is installed at a basement and the situation is at night so how do you solve a problem where there is little light in the area in the region and you need to get to a clear image so we have a, we have something called the AC, agc technology so 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 what what uh, so you can have an option for using the ACG technology to do a better image in dark areas, or you can do uh, having you can have big sensors. So big sensors meaning big uh, big iris and more light into the into the camera lens. So another solution to do so it's the sensor and the lens aperture. So for low light performance, maybe those are the things to consider when doing uh, doing configuration for the system. Performance feature for camera is an electronic shutter. So, and I think uh, something that you need to put into consideration maybe while uh, getting procurement for cameras or uh, trying to get to know which camera needs meets the needs that you want uh, to be achieved. Is the electronic shutter. So the electronic shutter is uh, basically how fast the camera can uh, open and close. So by definition, an, a video is a series of images, fast moving images. So the shutter is is uh, uh, the video is created by capturing those many images and in create, creating an impression where you have a video by playing for you those images at high at a very fast speed so cameras with high speed will be able to create image clearer while others with low speed will try to create a ghost like image so while doing for example um, uh, doing number plate recognition you'll have to put into consideration the shutter speed so you realize that because cars may be moving very fast and you don't need to your number plate to appear like this Need a clear number plate, so you need to do, put into consideration the shutter speed. Also, um, some key areas that you need to uh, put into consideration while uh, doing the shutter speed for the camera are sites where are very key. So there's a there's a client. Uh, uh, not mention, not going to mention them because of confidentiality purposes. So I, I, he for a situation. He found himself in a situation where a border, border guy snatched the snatched the uh, the camera for one of the person. So they have the video, but they cannot identify the number plate for the for, the, for that case for the motorbike. So how would you get to know? How would you recommend such camera good cameras for that case? So I think some some things that you need to put into consideration about uh, the shutter speed and also the resolution for the camera. Okay, hope that is clear. Another fun, so we mentioned uh, this AGC from this side here about improving the low light, low light performance areas. So the AGC technology auto gain control is a type of technology that will create brighter image. However, the image will noise will be amplified. So the noise is amplified together with the sig image. 
image, image, image together with the image. We're going to do, um, I think I'm going to rush because of time so that we complete this section. So noise reduction. So, so for feature, for to reduce, how do you, will you reduce uh, noise created from AGC? We have noise reduction in our cameras. So we support 2D and R and 3D and R. So the difference uh, is indicated here. So most, uh, most, uh, most of the cases you would uh, go up to with it, 3D and R. So you get some cameras that support 3D and R. Starlight technology, another performance uh, case for our cameras. So starlight technology basically tries to give you a colorful image. From, uh, from low light conditions. So you can see a photo taken from iPhone 6 versus a satellite like camera. So the difference is it's clear. IR camera, so IR, these are the infrared sensors, which uh, will help. How, how IR works is uh, because our, light, our eyes cannot see the image at night, the IR camera releases rays to images, then, from the feedback it gets back from uh, bouncing of light from surfaces of images, and it, it creates now the image where you can see from the display. So, so IR distance, so you can see IR. Well, cameras, different cameras have IR distance, meaning the distance that you can clearly identify an image. So types of IR, smart IR, where you have as much as, uh, so for this case, you have this uh, tree here illuminated. So light, meaning there's a light focused here so that you can see at, at, at night. So smart AR will try to balance the foreground and background to create a good image. So um, smart AR is just like WDR at night. Yes. PFA, another feature I'm going to talk about is PFA technology. So what PFA does will, uh, you will focus the image while zooming it. So the image is stays focused at zooming. So you can see from the video. I hope the video is playing. So the image stays focused while zooming. So you don't need to do focus or no take time to focus. Okay, next. Dory distance. So a Dory distance, uh, every camera that we uh, that you have at Dahua has Dory distance. So Dory distance is distance of recognition. So D means detection, observing, recognition, identify. So different cameras have the different Dory distance value. So while doing a key area or that that's high sensitive, you need to have a camera with high I I value. So I value is the identification. So you might detect someone, but you cannot identify them. You might observe someone. But you cannot identify them. But you can identify someone and recognize and observe and detect them. <laughs> the reverse. So uh, performance feature for cameras are uh, another one is protection. So we have different values for cameras. You realize some are rated IP67, some are rated IK. So we, about IK is not the scope for this uh, training, but we'll dive it later, it later. So IP67. So you can see uh, seven means for immersion of depth, water in up to one meters. Six means uh, dust. So the description is here. We're going to dive into it. Uh, we're going to do uh, intelligent functions of camera. So we have uh, IVS. So IVS in full means intelligent video surveillance. So in the IVS section of uh, DAHUAP cameras, we have tripwire intrusion, missing or abandoned objects. So we also support other IVS functions that are not listed in this uh, in this certification training, but you need to get to know just basically these ones. Uh, FR, we have cameras that do face face recognition. How face recognition works? You can have cameras at the front end with the face detection, then you have face recognition with the NVR, that is the recorder, or you can have face recognition cameras together with a working working uh, and uh, working working DVR. So how the face recognition works is uh, you 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 need to have a database because you cannot you cannot recognize someone that you don't have. 
So the camera will take an image of the, of the face. Then modeling is done on the images of the face captured. Then you do comparison from the system. So that's basically how face recognition work. And you can also, you can have cameras that do standalone face recognition or you can implement using DVR. Uh, video structuralization. So the video structure, structure okay, this word is a, is, a, is a feature for cameras that will be used to, to, uh, to a, a feature to identify difference between humans and vehicles. So people counting. So for people counting that Dahua does, we have cameras for people counting, crossing a line, people counting in a region. So this is the bit. We also have crowd map, but you're not going to do it in this section. Okay, I'm going to rush because of uh, time. And uh, tomorrow we're going to, to be at the office. So if you need to, if you, we're going to do the practical part and a bit advance in the, into the next slide. So if you're available tomorrow, you can come at Mitsumi Business Park here at Westlands and join us. So, uh, about, I'm going to rush about accessories. So accessories, we have uh, the tools that you use to set cameras. We have so illuminator is a is a is a, an accessory to create light. This one is like, like a torch, big torch. Storage, we have memory cards. Mount, these ones are used to fabrications that are used to to place the camera into a steady position. What time tomorrow? Tomorrow from 11 a.m. we're going to do a practical training from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. So we have camera housing. So for the accessories, uh, maybe 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 in the exam you can be asked what a type of mounting that support. We have wall mounting, ceiling, parapet. It's a nice word, parapet. Corner mounting, plane mounting. Plane is a flat surface, roll mounting. So for those of those of us who joined us in our last last uh, training we checked this these types of uh, of uh, brackets so so another accessory is power supply so this this one is a this one is a, you plug it to extension this one you feed it ac power get dc output 12 volts so this one is an ac adapter for ptz cameras the ups Power supply. So for power supply applications are maybe in uh, um, solar, which we do. Uh, can have power supply uh, endpoint. So this one is like those meter boxes. <laughs> yeah. SD card storages. Uh, pickup. A pickup is a is a noise reduction device, or a microphone that you can uh, have to get a clear to get clear audio from cameras. Illuminator, in in you require some of the, the torch, which you create a brightness. So you find most of the illuminators at, uh, at traffic or highways. So I think they're used, so some people will say that the illuminator used to wake up the driver, but which is not the case. It's just used to uh, create a brighter image and a better image while the camera is taking the images for the vehicles. Hardware tools, drill tester, software. So I did a training on the same about uh, Dahua software. This was covered. So toolbox is a very important software. For this uh, scope, you just need to know about config tool, project design tool, and camera calculator. Config tool is used uh, to identify and locate all, if not most, if not all of our Dahua products. So you'd have config tool to know, change IP address, parameter configuration, etc. Project design tool is used to create proposals for the clients and uh, make those good designs for customer. So it creates a very good design so that you can propose practical application of a project and uh, how the camera will appear in the project. So we'll come and do session on the project design tool later. Thank you. So any question? Send us links tomorrow. Okay, I'll send you. I'll send. I'll send the 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 video 
link location in YouTube. So all this will be available in YouTube. So thank you for those of us who joined us. So I hope by the end of all this training, you get certified with DHSA, VSS. So if there's no any other question or concern, download links as well. Okay, I'll, I will send, the video will be available online. You can do downloads and everything. So if there's no any other question, any other concern, so for those of us who are meeting us tomorrow, welcome. And uh, there's nothing else I think will adjourn the meeting. So have a nice evening and a nice weekend. Any WhatsApp group? Yes. Um, we have WhatsApp group for trainings. If you need a... Uh, so my contacts are below. You can uh, you can reach you can reach me out. You can reach out to me. Sorry, you can reach out to me. Then I'll add you to the groups that we have for our technical support. Okay, then my contacts are below uh, on the screen. You will uh, you get to to contact me. Then we'll. I'll see how I can do. So we have we have groups that I can add add you to the groups. Any other question? So, no other question. Thank you. Have a nice weekend.